Hello, here is how I made little Pop-Tart pillows that I thought my cat would like, but she didn't, and I wasted an entire day off making it. Oh, well, this will also be the fastest sewing tutorial you've ever seen because it's really simple. Also, here's what they look like in case you hate it and you want to turn back now, but I think they turned out okay. Now, I mainly use fleece, but I do recommend using felt if you're going to do something with a lot of colors. I highly recommend fabric glue, and then, of course, you need sewing tools. If you have a sewing machine, good for you. If you're doing it by hand, have fun. This was designed to fit a 12 by 16 pillow insert, but you can also just use foam, which is what I did, or whatever other filling you want. Now for the 13 by 17, 13 by 8, 13 by 12, this is your crust color, and then the like actual icing, whatever size and shape you want, just make sure it fits in the 13 by 17. I'd probably make it a little bit smaller than I did here though. Now a reminder that even though fleece feels better, felt is cheap, so if you have to get a bunch of colors for sprinkles, probably get a bulk pack or single sheets because it's a lot cheaper. I'm trying to save money. This is new for me when it comes to crafting. I don't normally do that. Anyways, here's my deconstructed tart parts. I got berry, I got strawberry, and I did cookies and cream. Now for the actual icing drizzle and the sprinkles, I, there's no pattern. Just go for it. Just cut it out. I mean, it usually looks like awful on the pop tart anyways, so you might as well just make it as cute as you can. Now, if you're insane and you feel like it, you can go ahead and sew these on, but I was absolutely not about to do that. So I just used fabric glue and I stuck on every single little sprinkle with just a little glob of fabric glue because that's so much easier. Now with the icing part on the berry one, I did actually end up sewing that down, but I put glue in some of the bigger parts just to hold it down so it didn't shift around too much when I was sewing it. Just keep the glue away from the edges because that's where you're going to be sewing it down if you do decide to. I just went around all the edges and then afterwards I cut off like this excess parts that I missed because I wasn't going to sew it perfectly. I'd rather just trim it up after. I love efficient crafting. Anyways, now that you have the toppings on your frosting, you're going to add it to the 13 by 17 piece you cut out earlier. I put a little bit of glue just to hold it down when I was sewing it because I'm just going to sew around the edges. But once again, keep it away from the edges because that's where your needle's going to be going through. And also you don't want the glue to like come out on the sides and leak out. Now I was super lazy with this part because I obviously didn't want to like perfectly follow the ends because it's frosting. It doesn't have to look that good, you know? So I just did the best I could and then for these areas that stuck out, I just trimmed them off after. Also look, I pushed that string out of the way just to move the camera so that the string is back in the frame. <laughs> Anyways, let's assemble now. You're going to lay this right side up and you'll grab your larger of the remaining two pieces and you'll put it right side down. And then you'll grab the smallest piece, the 13 by 8, and you'll also put that right side down but overlapping the other piece. Also, I gave the edges like rounded corners. I think I cut them out a little bit more here because I think it looks a little bit nicer. Then to stop this from shifting around too much because I don't have that many clips, what I did is I sewed the left and right side down first to attach the top pieces to the bottom piece and then I sewed um, the middle part where it overlaps and it helped keep it from moving around too much. Then as always snip your edges before you flip it inside out otherwise the corners are going to look funky. And that's literally it. That's the whole tart, the whole pop tart. Now I'm not going to show you how you do that for every single flavor because I know that you're really smart and you can figure that out based on the pieces and what I've showed you so far. Now you can make any flavor you want, though I have to say everyone on Instagram is quite mad that I didn't make cinnamon or s'mores, so just, just some ideas for you. Now I was going to go buy a pillow insert, but you see the weather on the day that I was making this made me want to not leave my house. So I used these pieces of acoustic foam that I had because I did not want to leave. But you know what? It worked. This one is a little saggy because I didn't have enough foam, but look, you can tell what they are. Also, if you do make them, please tag me on Instagram, especially if you make them for your pets because like my cat absolutely wanted nothing to do with it. Oh well. Also, sorry about this guy. He's just pressuring you, but I'm not too sorry because I hired him.